Hello, I'm Bill Richardson, and I'm here with Bill Peckett, and we're here to talk about a new book coming out with Running the Goat. It's called Lola Flies Alone. Uh, I'm the writer, and Bill is the illustrator. I'll say a very few words first, and then Bill, Bill can talk about the work that um, that he's done. Uh, this this began when I was in an airport. This was a few years ago when flying was a little more routine than it has been in the last little while with pandemic and everything. And um, I was in the line to get on the plane and there was this little girl who was standing next to me and she was, she had a unicorn horn on and she had um, a, a ballerina dress and uh, like a tutu and she had fairy wings. And I just remember thinking, I'm so glad this kid is gonna be on this flight because she's, she's ready for anything. And nothing could face her. She's absolutely the sort of person you wanna have in your corner. In the, in the event of an emergency. I began to imagine what it would be like if that child was flying alone. And that's the story of the book. It's about a girl called Lola, who is going to fly alone for the first time in her life. She's very young and she's um, going to go and visit her grandmother. And she dresses for the occasion in a very extravagant costume. And then she has adventures on the plane. So do you want to talk about how you illustrated sure. this? Uh, well, Lola, as Bill said, is wearing this outfit, and without giving too much away, uh, the outfit becomes pivotal in the uh, action in the book. Uh, a number of little adventures ensue. But one of the other things about the book is that it all takes place on an airplane. And so from an illustrator's point of view, that's challenging because you don't have some of the same um, you know, changes of scene that you might have in another kind of story. So. Uh, one of the things that uh, we used, and I'll just use this illustration as an example, is that Lola loves napping. And so we use uh, the, the drawings in, in the moments when she is napping as a way that she can leave uh, the, the airplane and she has these kind of um, thoughts inside, and adventures inside of her brain. And so, for example, in this one, she's fallen asleep yet again, and she's dreaming of a giant cupcake. Um, so it was just a way uh, within the illustrations to present a whole world beyond the confines of the airplane alone. And I, again, I don't want to give it away because there's some exciting things that happen, but uh, that's one of the devices that I used. We should talk about our spear as well, because um, oh, one, yeah. of, uh, one of the things that I was mindful of in writing the book was that when a child is traveling by him or herself, um, there's uh, the, the flight attendants are always very you know, uh, watchful over the child who's who's unaccompanied. So Lola's companion in arms, so to speak, um, is Arshbir, who is the flight attendant. Uh, Arshbir is a Punjabi name, a Sikh name, it, and it means God of Sky. And I think Billy had a lot of fun uh, illustrating Arshbir. Oh yeah, Arshbir is a wonderful, warm character. Um, and he uh, is involved in all of the little adventures that happen on the airplane. And plus there's more, but again, I don't want to give it away. Uh, but I did enjoy drawing him very much. Uh, he, he's, he's a happy and very helpful fellow who's, um, who becomes a friend for Lola while she's on the airplane. So that's it. It's called Lola Flies Alone. Uh, this is Bill Peckett. I'm Bill Richardson. We're so happy to have another book coming out with Running the Goat. And um, thanks very much. I hope that you enjoy it.